YouTube, what's going on guys, <clears throat> how's everything going, kind of a chilly day here in Kingston, uh, New York, I'm not the best of days, really rainy, I was going to clean out my car today, but uh, it's been kind of pouring all day long, so not really much going on, um, mm, good, uh, Nothing really on my mind. Did a Yabo not too long ago. <sighs> kind of sitting around. Um, what did I do this morning? I did something. What the heck did I do? Went to a Subaru dealership because I'm thinking about um, changing up my vehicle. My Honda Accord is starting up to go on its way out. Kind of drastically. In a, in a bad way. Um, and I'm tired of putting money into it. Um, so I went to Subaru dealership. The uh, reason I'm going with Subaru is um, all of the testing that I've seen done, both independent as well as in-house, uh, shows that the Subaru all-wheel drive system is superior to any other all-wheel drive system of any vehicle uh, with a, bet, quote, best-in-class uh, fuel efficiency. And I'm going with a Forester. Because uh, as a ski instructor, I need a lot of space in the back, which it has. And I'm driving through a lot of, you know, when, when it snows, you know, i got to be able to get out. If I can't shovel, I still have to be able to get out, you know. Because um, my resort opens when people, you know, when it snows like crazy. I have to be at work. Um, but I've just, I've watched a ton. I've probably done a year's worth of research maybe more. I've been looking into this since like 2011. Um, and just everything that I see is they're fantastically safe and the all-wheel drive system is just is great and um, there's just a lot of really nice things to say about them. Um, so I'm kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with that. Probably not till middle of June, July will I actually get into looking at some of those Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then I went and got some delicious coffee from a local roaster called Monkey Joe Roasting Company. Really good stuff. Um, it's an awesome place. Really awesome. I'm tired. I haven't done much today. Um, today's not a busy day for me, as you can tell. Uh. Hopefully, I shall be gainfully employed the 24th of this month and have uh, actual legitimate employment, which should be nice. Um, no more sitting around on my butt doing nothing. But uh, yeah, I got to figure out a couple things, see what's see, you know, see what's going on, um, figure it out from there. So yeah, very cool. Um, but yeah, no, the big thing with the car is. Um, there's one independent car club did a test and they set up a diamond plate ramp with uh, with near frictionless rollers. Now, granted, we don't live in a, a vacuum physics world. Uh, everything has a friction coefficient, but as close to frictionless rollers, bearing systems as you can get um, with extremely low friction coefficients that are almost not, you know, it's, 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 uh, that's the word I'm trying to use. I don't know. I can't think of the word. English comes to me really. It's great language for me to use. Because uh, good. Um, but uh, it was interesting. They set up a diamond plate ramp that up and over. And they had where the four wheels would be. They had a set of rollers, big rollers, and rollers with different spacings, so different dynamics. And they would cover up one set of rollers or two sets of rollers, then they, they wanted to simulate. So if they wanted to just cover up the front wheels, they could, and, and you know, show people climbing up the diamond plate ramp with just the front wheels, maybe just one of the front wheels, one of the rear wheels, and everything. And they tried 20, I think, of the leading class SUVs and crossover type vehicles that have some kind of four-wheel drive. 
okay? Whether it's all time, symmetrical, this, that, the other thing, um, intelligent, whatever the particular car company wanted to use as their nomenclature for it, it was some form of real time, all time, four wheel drive. And the only vehicles to climb the ramp were vehicles specifically designed to go off road completely. Uh, it was a Jeep Wrangler 4x4 uh, giant rock crawler. The only thing to climb it in all the conditions and every Subaru that they had. And they trusted every single one of the Subarus. Only cars. Now, the Jeep Wrangler, great, fantastic vehicle. Not what I need. Um, that's a rock crawler. It is a very specific use vehicle. Uh, they even tried a couple Fords, some Volkswagen, Volvo, Audi, everything, you name it, and they, they, couldn't, they couldn't hold up to it. The other thing I noticed a lot was a lot of these vehicles that have uh, four-wheel drive in the consumer class that get between 28 and 32 miles to the gallon highway and have a combined average between 25 and 28 mpg. Um, is they jived a lot left to right uh, when the when the all-wheel drive system popped on, um, and uh, doing a little bit of research, I realized that a lot of them have the engine kind of offset to one side and then a very heavy transmission and gearbox set up to the other side. Also, you have an axle on one side that's shorter than on the other side. Though the wheels are equidistant from the center line of the car, because the engine is shifted to one side one axle is going to be slightly shorter than another in the front, which caused uh, torque steering 90, almost all the time. Subaru, the w, one of the WRXs they tested had a little bit of torque steering in it, but they believed that was because it was such a big motor. I don't know if that's, you know, whether the, what, you know, what caused it, to be honest. But the one thing I did see was all of them had very little trouble climbing the diamond plate ramps had very little trouble doing all the tests that they did and performed the best across the best across the board. So I'm, I think my research is, is you know, is, is concluded that I'm going to go with a Subaru. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but, uh, you know, I also think that they're reliable. I know a lot of people who have Subarus that last as long as a lot of the Hondas that are on the road. Um, and that they just think overall, the, you know, there's, there's a big loyalty there, and, and I think it's a well-founded loyalty. Um, but uh, got to wait. Got to make sure that, you know, when money starts coming in from a, from a job that, you know, I'm going to be able to afford the thing, you know. Um, so it's catch-22. I got to hope that my Honda will last long enough to get me there and that when it's time to, to, to sit down and, and, and buy the vehicle that uh, that I'm still, you know, that the Honda is still uh, good for a trade of some kind. So we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, but uh, I'm still trying to sell my Dunhill and the Peterson. Um, make me an offer on the Peterson. I have it right here. It's a nice little Peterson. It doesn't need to be cleaned. But it's a nice little Peterson system pipe. Okay, make me an offer. Don't go lower than fifty bucks, but make me an offer. I I won't accept anything lower than fifty bucks. Um, but make me an offer on it. I'll take really anything on it. Um, but uh, I won't go lower than fifty bucks on it. The Dunhill, I'm selling it on eBay at starting at three fifty. Uh, I would like four. Five would be even more awesome, but I'll put a link to the eBay uh, down below the eBay thing. I got an hour, uh, one day left on that, so you can go bid on that. Um, and if you're the high bidder, we'll work something out. If it's over $400, I will work something out. I might give a YouTube community break on the price and I'll sell it to you at a little bit lower. We can discuss that later. But uh, if you... If you, you know, yeah, um, I would also appreciate it. The, this pipe, as well as my Dunhill, let people know about it. Link them over to my uh, channel. I'll put a link to the, the video of the pipes down below. Um, get them uh, get them in touch with me because I'd really like to sell them quicker, sooner than later. Um, helps to just liquidate, you know, some things in my collection and uh, gives me some cash, you know.
because though I am out of work and I'm collect, you know, collecting unemployment, um, I don't need, I don't necessarily want to rely on the unemployment check um, to pay for my expenses. Um, I have things that I don't necessarily use all that often that uh, could be liquidated to assist me financially. So, kind of a plead. But uh, links are down below. Let people know about them. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Hope hope all is well. Cheers.